Hello, welcome back to 16 Bit Play Bit by Bit. I'm your host Dave. This video will contain occasional swearing. This is episode 16 of Let's Play Secret of Mana. In the last episode, we busted our way through the, um, the part of the Sprite Forest that we could only access after we'd gotten the air magic of the elemental Sylphid. And we made it to uh, this place, um, this cool uh, place of uh, dappled sunlight under the canopy. It's a it's the kingdom of Tango. Uh, everybody here is a new intelligent mushroom. We have been told that in the north, here somewhere, there is a cave with a white dragon in it. Um, we've also been told that by a legend that the hero of the man is by the white dragon. Very exciting indeed. Yeah, and he talked about uh, letting us into a palace, but that, would, that was very much the after you've dealt with what in this cave deal. And I am shooting stuff with a bow. Whoa. Oh, okay. Doing this, are we? Okay. I've got my party members on full, full aggression, uh, and they are. They like to get stuck in. So you could do sword. Uh, you could do boomerang, but um, uh, Prim has that. Or he could do javelin. So we'll stick him on sword for the time being, I think. Uh, get sword three, then we can put him on javelin. If we Yeah, actually, I can't believe I've never finished this game before, because I think I have finished Psycho like, Mansion 3, and I might even have finished Secret Evermore, which is nowhere near as good as this. Um, but yeah, there comes a point in your life when... There comes a point in your life when you think, maybe it's time I finished this 27-year-old um, game. Games of this era had a lot going for them. Like, this is this is the console of its day operating at you know, full capacity. Um, you know, I, th I think these graphics look great. The characters are very expressive. The music's good. Um, it plays very well in this game. In fact, I've just I've just played through the Final Fantasy VII remake. And one of the things that struck me about it is it's hard. Modern games are difficult. Like, for instance, 
played through a bunch of the Assassin's, Assassin's Creed games, they're fun. But at no point are they really particularly challenging. But, uh, there's something about you know, the risk of losing and losing your progress that sort of sharpens the mind a bit. And about, about losing and having to go back and prepare properly and apply some strategies to how you're playing the game. I feel like the, the fact that we've been like leveling the weapons up and stuff, I think it So very much aware that if things do go wrong, we have love button magic as well. We've got our sort of get out jail free in our society. But I'm, I'm also quite quite wary about using the magic because last time we fought the boss we did not have a chance to rest before and we really needed the magic. Maybe not last time. The evil war was the main one. The evil war was a problem if you didn't have any magic magic. Or if you if you had used your magic on the way to the boss, that was when it was a real problem. This game's a lot more fun now set my heart to be hyper aggressive. Early on, I don't think you can, they, they just die all the time. Okay, I guess I need to go down these stairs. Oh no, I can't. Where am I going? It's a dead end. Oh, I can whip across there, can't I? That's what I need to do. See, this is the other thing, you know, like, the things are here that show you that you need to whip across. But there's nothing popping up on the screen saying, use your whip to cross the chasm. It's like, games of this series would expected you to work on that yourself a bit. If you're constantly spoon fed what to do, then when that's taken away, it's a real problem. Like, it makes you stupid. Particularly in, in the FF7 remake, it's got, like, all the quests have, like, an objective marker that will tell you basically where you need to go. Um, like, like you find in most games nowadays, except. Oh, I've done it again. Except in the final chapter you get a bunch of side quests. Well, not the final chapter, but the final chapter where you can do side quests. It gives you a bunch of side quests that don't have objective markers in. You, just, you need to go around and talk to NPCs and find out where you're supposed to go. And uh, that's a shock when that happens, because it hasn't done that up until that point. But I know when we, when we were waiting for that game to come out, I was like, if they make this some sort of open world nightmare of objective markers, that will take the magic out of it because the original game was not like that. It was quite loose in places, you just roamed around the world finding shit. Um, but then when it suddenly, when the game did become like that, I was really shocked by it. I was like, how do I do this? Anyway, but there's enough talking around to play a different game. Oh, Randy, he needs to level up the whip anyway. And I'll just fully level up the boat. He 
he's leveled up the whip, the spear, the boomerang, and the javelin. So he's got plenty to do. Somehow he's got less stuff leveled than like pop boy has. Don't really know how that's coming back. The whip's good anyway. Ow. If we don't stand perpendicular to two enemies at once, we're gonna get fucked up. Healing.
weapon skill up. Boomerang reaches level 3. What does Krim need to level? Bow? Trident. Claws.
No, we aren't hitting back on ourselves. I'm not quite sure what that switch did. I hope I didn't miss something.
before he reaches 22. Yeah, it's down here, around here. Okay, so there's a way down there. I don't know if I took. There's also a way up here, so I don't know. It is a fork in the path. This is a dead end, we need to come out here and down. Right, that's where the crystal orb was. It opened the route down and we just didn't take it. Cool. Okay, boss time. Big snake, as promised. Oops. Oh, magic. Be good. oh, I know what we should do. We should use analyzer on the snake. Don't just pick me up, fuck. That's bad. Great right, Viper fears Silphid. Cool. Good. Oh shit, Frank's dead. Fucking hell. Dead and pick me up. Says they see the reaper. Um, I don't think I can cure um, the pig ice. It's a bit of a problem. Um, okay. Load of damage is what happens. Okay, this is how we win this fight for sure. Airblast. Wait for it. Okay, he's dead. Cool. Wait for it. Wait for it to say season we put and then we can just push him back to life.
at, at range. Leveling the magic, yeah, it is, it is important. I think. I mean, we were we had tons of resources left to be honest in that battle, but still. So what? So we got a sword orb. Supposedly the dragon was fighting a snake. Whoa, hello. This is the legendary white dragon. Its parents must have been beaten by that serpent. That's a baby dragon. Won't make it if we leave it here. Way too big for us to carry. Let's ask Truffle. It's the king of the mushroom people. He'll only slow you down, so I'll raise him. You three get going, I'll take good care of him. By the way, how do you make, how do you like the name Flammy? I sound like an idiot. You'd agree with me whether you like the name or not. So let's call him Flammy and be done with it. <laughs> Cannon Travelers open again, open again in the forest to the south. Find the Fire Palace somewhere in the desert of Kakara. Kakara! Okay. So we need to wait for this dragon to mature. Okay. Fine. Um, let's upgrade the sword. Okay, which one's ready? It's the sword. I'm going to turn from the Herald Sword into the Laymore. something they need to level right now is the important thing. The next time, come and travel in the south to the desert of Kakara. And then we'll be able to get to the fire palace. Have a, a, a lovely little rest. And then we will save our game. Cool. Um, that is the end of the episode. I enjoyed, I enjoyed doing that dun dungeon very much. Um, I'm, I'm pretty stoked that we got, uh, got the dragon. I'm pretty disappointed that we don't get to fly around on the dragon or ride it yet. But I'm guessing that's something that perhaps happens when you've been to all the palaces. 
Don't know. Don't know. Uh, but in any case, I enjoyed playing very much, and I hope that you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time.